all the way from Capitol Heights, Maryland. On the phone, I have Cyrus. The virus. What up, man? Yo, what it was, what it was, cuz. How you been, on? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Thanks for joining the program, dog. I appreciate you being Good looking for having me. Let everybody know out there the name of your neighborhood. Man, you already know, dog. I'm from Landover, but I grew up in Camp Heights, you feel me? 425, 20 side, you feel me? Like 4300 block, Shell Street, all the way to G Street, 4300 block, Central City shit, you know, feel me? That East Side Fortrade delinquents shit, you feel me? On Crip, like that, though. Well, shit, man, to the best of your knowledge, um, when did Crips and Bloods first pop up in the Maryland, D.C. area? I'm keen to be honest with you, cuz. Like, Top Dog is one of the oldest, like, Crips that's in the DMV. As far as the DMV, that's all the way back in the 90s, though. Like, like, the Reds, like, Omi's G-Face and all of them. Like, D-Insane and all of them. Like, of the Big Cuz bitch and all of them. Like, that shit was like the early 90s, man. You know? And they got people okay. from out of all of that that's been, you know, dibbling and dabbling in and out for like ever, for like ever. Uh, talk to me about when your hood, your specific hood, ended up uh, popping up on the scene. Shit. When me and my niggas was doing that right there, like on G Street in Simple City, that's South Beach, D.C., you know, for people who don't know, like Simple City, G Street. That was like 04, 05, you know, that was 4300 block and on G Street, you know, southeast, east side, down there, off Bennett Road and all of that. And uh, yeah, it's been a four trade delinquent ever since then, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, on Gangsta Crip, like that. Okay. Who are some of the uh, OGs who, who started your hood? Me. You got my nigga Tute. You got my nigga Muscles. You got like Tussles. You got Ops, LB. Shit like that. It's a, it's a couple of them. Like the originals, like when it was. Yeah, it was. it's a lot. But like the originals, it would be that right there. You know, you got me, my nigga Tute, Muscles, Tussles, LB, Ops. A couple of homies yeah. I can now. Ziggy. Okay. What years what would you say you were most active? Yeah. Oh three. Oh, <laughs> oh three and on. To you too. I'm like, yeah. you saying the most active, like you know, people niggas and got older. You feel me? People got kids and family and shit, but like niggas still punch you in the face though. Like, niggas still get away. <laughs> like, you know, that's just grown man morals. But, like, the most active, though, i I say, like, from 05 to 09, like, that was a lot of hostile takeover. Like, everything was delinquent shit. Everything, everything, everything. So many fights, so many club fights. Yeah, fights just caught on YouTube and shit. Like, Crips and Bloods, like, Smashing each other's head and bottles and shit flying everywhere and shutting down clubs and shit like that. Like 05, 08, 09. Mm -hmm. I went to prison in 09, so like most active year. Okay, okay. Now, um, West Coast Crippin and East Coast Crippin are a bit different. Would you guys say you more are aligned with the way the East Coast bangs, or would you say you guys are more, more closely related to the West Coast Crippin? I mean, everybody, like, for real, for real, I, I can't speak on everybody's shit, for real, like, on, on GC, speak on mine, but for the most selective, every, all the official ones out here, everybody is tapped in, they tapped into the West Coast roots, so you know what I'm saying, rules are rules, like, mm -hmm. what it is, what it is, but at the same time, those niggas get money, though, like, East Coast niggas is, is like, niggas get money. You feel me? D.C., D.G., the South, New York, New Jersey, like, niggas is money gives for real, for real. 
but they still be tapped in, especially the official ones. So, you know, they just know how that go, though. You know, rules is rules, like, you know. What are some of the neighborhoods out there that we would probably recognize in Los Angeles that, that migrated out to, to D.C., Maryland? Shit, it's a lot of, of a set, for real. It's a lot of yeah, 60s out here. It's a lot of 60s out here. It's a lot of 30s out here. Shout out to my 30s niggas. Full 30, you already know. Uh, it's shit, there's a lot of, a couple of solid ones. It's a lot of 60s out here. It's a lot of 30s, a lot of shotguns. A lot of payback. Okay. As far as okay. crypt goes, it's a lot of folks out here too. And then you got like a lot of treetop power rooms out here, a lot of brims out here, a lot of Denver lanes out here. Especially mm. up in the Baltimore area. Now, do you think that that the migration of Gangster City was mainly due to things like crack cocaine back in the, the 80s and nine, early 90s? Could be, baby. Could be. Okay. I know it played a part, but it could be. You feel me? Niggas be traveling. Niggas be moving. So, you know? Mm. Yeah. And if you say that time, then you already know because everybody is clicked up just like out in the land, out in the West, like on the East Coast. Everybody is clicked up. And when you clicked up, like you get whatever clicks. And next thing you know, you know, your clip is set and this and that and you doing what you're doing and boom, move. Yeah. This start like that, definitely. Or jail systems, you feel me? If it wasn't brought in that way, it'd be jail systems because a lot of niggas get like expedited. How uh, much of an influence do you think movies like Colors and Minister Society were to spreading gangs across the U.S. Yeah, you know how it goes, like, especially for, for color. I remember seeing it when it was, when I was young, you know what I'm saying? In the 90s and all of that, like, nigga, I already knew what, what was up. I'm, I'm rocking like that. I'm, I'd rather rock like that. So, you know, just the media and having it, of course. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And it in fact can come from all type of outlet I would input on people because like you said it can be the media crack cocaine it could be in just traveling like in the DMV Chicago was close you feel me there's nope. TVs out here too so it's okay. like yeah it's like shit happens do you guys have a lot of Mexican gangs out there hell yeah they out here <laughs> they out here who, who are some of the big ones it's a lot of MS-13 gangs Especially out Silver Spring and Mocha. I ain't trying to give them, you know. But yeah, it's a listen. Out there, they made a movie about that shit. I forgot what the name of that movie was. They made a whole movie about that. Because in Purge 3, they were talking about the Crips in D.C. And then it was another movie that was supposed to have been something like that. And they made it about them. Because them niggas really? was out there. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta look up that shit. I never knew that. Yeah, when you watch the Purge three, you hear the dudes whistling when they were talking about they in the city blocks to let you know, to let you know what part of the hood you in. It's the Crips, mm-hmm. like you know. It's out here, niggas is out here. You know, everybody in the world comes out here. The White House out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of tourism and and, and people don't know, and they think when they see the White House, they don't know that just a few blocks down, shit goes down. You in the motherfucking hood, you better watch where you're going. <laughs> don't yeah, come, yeah. <laughs> don't, put up, don't go uptown bullshitting. Don't go southeast bullshitting. Don't come on Georgia. Air bullshitting, Cap Heights, District Heights, just don't come lacking because it ain't just all front row White House. That shit ain't, it ain't, boy, it's D.C. Niggas ain't rocking, so I'm telling yeah. you. At, at one point, I think you guys were in the top 10 uh, murder capitals of the country, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on, especially you know, 
back in them eras and just how like we were talking about clicks and all of that linking up and then you got niggas like uh uh what's his name? Rayful Edmonds all of them the King Pants from DC and all of that, linking up with Baltimore, then linking up with the New York niggas. You know. Shit happens, man. People be tapped in. That's everywhere though. Colors tells the graphic story of LA street gangs, drive by killings, drugs, the price paid for honor and loyalty. It has the feel of the street. The year was 1988. I remember seeing commercials on TV for a movie unlike anything I had ever seen before. The setting of the movie looked exactly like the neighborhood I lived in. Exactly like it. I was intrigued. I had to see this movie. That movie was Colors. 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 Color, color, color. Days leading up to opening night, I remember hearing TV and radio news stories warning parents of the possible dangers of going to see this film. There will be violence at the theaters, they proclaimed. Watch at your own risk, they said. Security at a number of movie theaters, all because of this film. Already it has sparked a variety of protests and worries that it could inspire more violence. After opening just this past Friday, and in a limited number of theaters. Anyone wearing gang emblems, the colors referred to in the movie title, will not be admitted. I still wanted to see it. I begged my mom to let me see it. But she wasn't having it. I even begged my stepdad to sneak me to the movie behind my mom's back. He wasn't having it. As expected, theaters all over the nation had not so good experiences while showing the film. Most notably, a theater in Stockton, California, stopped showing the controversial film just days after its release after a gang-related shooting in front of the movie house left one man dead. After seeing this on the news, I knew there was no way my parents would let me see this film. Director Dennis Hopper disputes claims his film will incite more gang violence. I don't see how it can incite any more uh, gang violence is happening here. We had uh, tw uh, 13 people shot last weekend and like, you know, in one drive-by. This does not glorify gangs. If you want to go to jail or if you want to die, if you feel find that glamorous, then this is the movie to go see. It was months later maybe even a year before I actually got to watch the movie in the privacy of my own home via VHS. It was everything I imagined it to be. What I didn't imagine at the time was that this film would impact not only my city, but hundreds of cities across the country. This was for many the first glimpse into gang life in Los Angeles, AKA the gang capital of the country. Soon after the release of this film, neighborhoods across the nation started claiming blood and crip, mimicking everything they saw in the movie, from hand signs to the graffiti. Local law enforcement quickly noticed the rise in gang activity in their towns. They tried their hardest to stop it, but it was too late. Gang banging spread like a wildfire. Crips and bloods have popped up in other countries across the world. Countries like the Philippines and New Zealand are battling their own gang problems. All because of one movie, Colors. Uh, we just passed the one year mark of the killing of Nipsey Hussle out here in LA. I'm curious uh, what the environment was like and, and what your thoughts are on that whole situation. And is there any way that something like that could have been prevented. Man, first of all, CIP to the cuz, because that shit, shit was crazy. That whole situation was crazy. That shit was crazy. And, um, oh, man, it, it, hit, it hit home even all the way out here. Like, mm -hmm. I was already on my way to fly out there on April 3rd. You know what I'm saying? And when I heard that news, that shit was just crazy. It was just crazy. Cause when I came out there, I'm like, 
and me and my wife was out there, you feel me, and had to slide by the hood and everything, and just seeing everybody everywhere and the balloons and shit everywhere. That shit was just crazy, man, because it was a good influence on crypto. When niggas talk about their community revolution, man, and progress, though, when niggas say it like that, though, because was doing it. Yeah. So, you know, it hit home, because he was teaching niggas game, too, that didn't know, that don't know too much. So, you know, it's like you, but you don't see that every day. But shout out to the cuz showing it. And everybody else that do that like that. My nigga K-Boy and all of that. All of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And for somebody so close to him from his own neighborhood to take him out, that was uh, just the icing on the cake that just made it so cold. Yeah, that's 60. That's 60, but I ain't in that. You know, I ain't going to speak too much on that, but, you know, that shit was crazy. We recently lost Pop Smoke famous New York rapper, or he was up and coming New York rapper who was definitely on the on, on down to be a big thing. Comes out to LA, killed in the Hollywood Hills of all places with his five million dollar home. My question for you is, since you are a musician and you can travel, what are your thoughts on how rappers with gang ties should move around when they're in a different city? Listen, first of all, CIP the Cuz, Pot Smoke, my eight dudes, Trey niggas. Shout out to y'all, what's happening? Shout out to Black, Top Gun. Listen, when you traveling and you banging, I don't know. You ain't supposed to stay on your motherfucking P's and Q's. Because niggas going to do whatever you doing. Even when I'm traveling, when I'm doing a show in Cali or I do a show in New Mexico or I'm doing a show in Georgia. I'm, nigga, I'm on my P's and Q's though. I don't know. I don't know. That would be crazy, you feel me? When you do travel to these cities, is there somebody that you, and this is just the, the best phrase I can think of, check in with? Is there somebody that, you know what I'm saying, you make sure, yo, I'm in, this, in, in the neighborhood, make sure I'm safe, blah, blah, blah? I mean, if you, you, you should, de- well, when, my, yeah, my opinion, if you bang and you traveling out of your state, I mean, you better tap in with a motherfucking line that you know of, especially if you're researching where the fuck you're going. I don't know what everybody else do, but I research where the fuck I'm going. Nigga, I don't just, oh, come on, we're doing the show, cuz we're about to go do a show in Arkansas somewhere. <laughs> Nigga got us battling cowboys and shit because we don't know where we get. You feel me? They don't like friends over there. They don't like the niggas over there. You feel me? I don't know. So it's yeah. like, you yeah. just have been in research, especially when you bang it. Not only because you were artist, but because that's what the people portraying. I don't know. Some people be like, they don't check in. Some niggas be like, they tap in. I would tap in. Like, on Crip. Like, this 43rd. I'm going somewhere. Yo, where my thirds at? Like, what the fuck? Nigga, what the fuck are you doing? You know? Like, nigga, it's crazy. I'm out here, cuz. All at me. What are your thoughts on the whole Takashi 69 thing? That nigga crazy. We ain't giving him no airspace, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the fifth person that said that on my show. No, that nigga told on like a whole card. And that shit was true. Is he out for real? Oh, he's out, homie. He's been out for a few weeks now. Almost actually over a month now. He's crazy. He's crazy out your motherfucking head. Hell no. <laughs> He's out while his homies are doing 15, 17, 25 years, man. Look, man. When you were making music, you making music. Yeah, they, they're saying, so that, he, they're saying that he's getting offers in Europe and, and Australia and places like that for 300000 to $700,000 a show. He'll be playing out there. They don't give a fuck out there. They just yeah. want him. Yeah. You ask one him. <laughs> or the real yeah. ones don't want him. That shit crazy. That nigga out. That shit crazy. He is crazy. out. Fact. <laughs> yeah, fact, man. He is, he is 100% out, man. And I'm sure he's not walking around like that, but he's going to start doing shows. And like you said, it's probably best that he does shows overseas because I don't know how long he'll last out here. Look, he probably going to be somewhere and recording that shit and posting it three hours later. Letting it, he going to do the whole world <laughs> once again. Oh, that nigga uh, crazy. Yeah. That nigga. Yeah, that, yeah. Shit, that Chicago <laughs> shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Well, shit, uh, on, on, on kind of the same, on the lines of the same subject, what are your thoughts on rappers who join gangs? 
after they become famous, like the Chris Browns or the Soldier Boys, you know, even even like the Tupac. Like, what, what do you think about rappers who join gangs after they're famous already? I don't know, man. I'm listening. Crazy is my favorite word, right? But I don't know. I guess for certain people, in my opinion, it's like, nigga, you weird as a motherfucker. You weird and you stupid because you rich. And now you want to bang? Nigga, you will be a affiliate member. You wouldn't be flying no fucking colors. But some niggas, you know, it's different. Because, like, Chris Brown be out in Richmond and the Fairfax. And there's a lot of dumb moves out there. So Chris Brown probably grew up with blood niggas anyway and when he blew up he just bringing his niggas so sometimes it be like that because niggas don't know you know uh-huh. what I'm saying they just blew up but they falsing it like niggas ain't getting quartered on and no shit like that so after you famous I don't know you weird that's weird I, I don't respect it nigga can you fight you know what I'm saying right <laughs> No one know if you can fight. I don't give a fuck about your chain. If I can whoop your ass <laughs> and take your chain, it doesn't matter. Um, let me ask you, what were your first thoughts when you when you heard Gangster right back in the day? I grew up listening to that. Method Man, NWA, Ice Cube. My brother looked like fucking Ice Cube. That shit crazy. Like Crucial <laughs> Conflict. And, and I grew up listening to all of that. Like, you know, I do all of that. Used to rap uh over the Super Mario Brothers beat. LA got hit really, really hard when gangs, well, I said gangster rap and crack cocaine kind of made that combination. I know your mayor got busted back in the day, or I guess that was the mayor of DC, never mind. But um, going back to crack, how big of an impact did that have on your city specifically that you remember? Not necessarily on the gang side of things, but just period. What do you remember about that time? Because the 80s and 90s, Man, I lost my brothers to the system mm. in them areas for that shit, how that shit like it. Listen, if anybody know anything about PG County, Cap Heights and Down in the Heights and Marlboro Pike, and, which is right next door to D.C., Southeast, which is the city, the hood, you feel me? Like, in that time, man, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You're going to go through some shit, man. You're going to get in the fights. Niggas going to jail. You might get jumped. You might get robbed. It's going to turn you up because you ain't going to be no victim. So, like, that shit ain't hit real hard because niggas already wasn't rocking. So, me being a kid, just saying, though, know, like, in 84 and knowing in the 90s, like, I started fighting like 94 95 9 10 years old fighting for real like you feel me niggas is kids but why are we fighting because it's f-ed up out here you feel me the houses small shit is small streets small niggas is doing this and that gunshots here and there getting jumped going through shit and you still gotta walk your ass to school do you guys have asian gangs out there they out here Mm-hmm. They definitely they keep it low key. They keep it low key, kind of how they do out here. I'm curious. Hell no, nah. it ain't low key shit. Cause niggas is mm-hmm. still wall banging. You kidding me? Mm-hmm. Niggas mm-hmm. ain't playing. You go around certain places and you think it's a lot of foreigner people or you know Asian or Spanish or whatever. Them niggas is spray painting that shit up too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the fuck they is. You gonna see three dots or? X's and three and yeah, you is. Niggas yeah. know what I'm talking about too because them little Rosses, the little Rosses, they out here. I know you was doing music back in the day. What, what's up with that? You still making music? Oh, you don't know? The world is faded, babe. The whole <laughs> world is faded. The six months the world was faded. Started that in ECI. Yeah, I ain't playing with them. Look, it's Blue Spades in London. It's Spades in fucking Bahamas. It's Spades in Africa and Guyana. You know, Queens is Spaded. Mr. Cheeks is Spaded. You feel me? All of them. Pineapple Dreams. All my niggas. Chaz, Money, Powerful. All them. LB, Mafia. You know what I'm talking about? 
Mr. Cheek, mm-hmm. R.I.P. Freaky Todd, man. How'd you link up with him? He had a goddamn my manager. Shout out to Black G ever since entertainment. My manager was on his job. So, you know, he was booking shows here, shows there. He was getting me close to like with Mr. S- Lil Scrappy. Got me shit with like Ray Cash. Got me shit with Jay the Kiss, uh, West V. Cooling it with all these, you know, doing what I'm doing, promoting, doing shows. So he brings Mr. Cheeks. I'm like, Mr. Cheeks, I grew up listening to him. I'm like, word. Yeah. So, you know, we had, he had a concert going on. It was down in D.C. on Georgia Ave. Uh, uh, we had the, the the hotel suites and like all these hotel rooms and shit and we was in MoCo and when Cheeks and the LB and the fam came down it was me and my boy my left hand my nigga Bio you feel me we had the rooms niggas had bottles niggas had this niggas had that we went and do the show and we crushed the show and uh, Cheeks was like yeah call your peoples man cause you going on the road with us man y'all niggas coming with us come on let's go Okay, let's get it cracking. Let's get out of here. So I was like, what the fuck? You know, nah. that shit really happened. And so I did exactly that. Call my mom from mom. <laughs> you know what I'm hey, look, I'll be back. I'll holler at you. And we was on the road for like two months. Real dope, man. Well, dude, it's, uh, it's definitely been a pleasure talking with you. Maybe we can do it again in the future, man. Um, so do you have anything you want to promote? Uh, pleasure, pleasure. First of all, glad to be here. And look, honestly, man, it's C Y R I Z, the virus, man. You just gotta Google search me, hit that YouTube search me, keep cracking on each side, listen, and just support me. I support you because I'm cool like that. You feel me? Yeah, make sure you check out my dude, Cyrus the Virus. It's been a pleasure, man. I'll stay close in touch with you, and uh, you have a good night, homeboy. You too, man. Y'all keep it cool, man. Dusty Vision TV, out. Thank you, sir. Peace, man. Struggles I endure, I guess success is for equity. I'm a blue eye with ammo under my cup. So when I get to shooting, but it's will stick to your body like hair on soap. So far, the words come out of your throat. You act hard, but you so softer than the ice cream at the bottom of a root beer. Look, and I hope my words open the denial. Your mind defends this music I recommend on abandoning the truth like homeless orphans. Power on the mic, so I turn up like Rangers, mighty Morphin. My boys suck your pop and step your brain and do My niggas out law, my niggas out law. Fuck what you thought you heard, you seen, you saw me out law. My niggas out law, my niggas out law. Fuck what you thought you heard, you seen, you saw me out law. I'm from Southside, not South Park. TDGC Outlaw. 2800 moving gang, and I'm moving things till I'm out, bruh. 
six shooters tucked by my side. Fresh blue chucks matching the ride. Still cruising, blocks me a tie. Recruiting locs till I die. Still I ride with Riverside. The homie Grouch Low got us certified. He don't work the five, we just hurting guys. That snitching sick with lurking eyes. Word to side, y'all peep it. Faux tray like the Lincolns. Our forte big men hitmen got us gripping all too frequent. School prep got my back. MAP is on the map. And my OG, my big homie. So word the dog, I'm strapped. Y'all heard we keep that he hood. And all my cowboys eat good. I got a horse that's named Trigger. But my pistol's name is Eastwood. And we stood by G codes and clown all y'all. Law. Reverse sugar on beast mode and drown all y'all salt. Thug life like Tupac with two glocks or two texts. We love life, so you drop from two shots and who's next? <laughs> My niggas out, law. My niggas out, law. Fuck what yeah. you thought you heard, you seen, you saw. We out, law. My Trying niggas out, law. My niggas Kill. out, law. Yeah. Fuck what Nigga. you thought you heard, Nigga. you seen, you saw. Yeah. We out, law. My rush ain't got two, two, threes around this bitch. Can't wear black on black. UUVs around this bitch. One bark, you got TD. C's around this bitch, and my section got 43's around this bitch. Look, homie, them niggas lying. They ain't never bang the block. Look up my trigger finger dying. Just a bang a shot. Look, nigga, mission of the day. Get cake, that for better days. Stay loyal, that's DOA. Easy money, that might be a fake. One smack, yo, hit my spurber back. Crack your spinal tap. Old gas moving three times of that. Lopes is fine with that. Look, nigga, mind your business, it's no problem. This G Street, look, low bottoms. Ghost Town told me keep it moving, so we moving with no problem. From two five to the south side, we clean round this bitch. Your girl a jump off with her mouth wide, she mean round this bitch. Nigga, six four with braids, my post and lean round this bitch. Nigga, crit walk on your block and squeeze round this bitch. Nigga, out loud. <laughs> My niggas out, law. My niggas out, law. Fuck what you thought you heard, you seen, you saw. We out, law. My niggas out, law. My niggas out, law. Fuck what you thought you heard, you seen, you saw. We out, law.